hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. My name is Mr. Zabron Ernest, a teacher at Arimunta Islamic Seminary. All right, so today I will just take you quickly through what we discussed, you know, last week, and it was about compound shape. I taught my students on how to find the area and perimeter of the compound shape. And then I ended up giving them uh, the homework. So I gave them the homework, what to do, and then they tried, All right? So now this will be the video for, you know, small corrections and try to compare what you did and what I'll be doing here. If there are some like small, small mistakes, try uh, try to correct them. So there we go. Uh, work out the area and perimeter of these compound shapes. Okay, so you are you are given a compound shape like this. You are given a compound shape like this, and the question says, uh, work out the area and perimeter. So I'm gonna start with area, and then later perimeter. Right. So that, there we go. To find the area of this shape, to find the area of this shape, you need to divide this compound shape into rectangles. Okay. Now, how can you divide this shape? To find the area, I repeat myself, to find the area of this shape, you need to divide this compound shape into small rectangles. Okay. The first way of dividing this shape is uh, dividing this shape either this way. You see that? You can divide that shape vertically like so. And then you'll be ending getting two shapes. Can you see that? You'll be getting two shapes. One shape will be this shape here. Okay. One shape will be, let me try to, to shade the shapes which you are going to get. So one shape will be this shape here. Can you see that? Okay. Another shape will be this shape here. Another shape will be this shape over here. Okay. So when you divide this compound shape like this, you're going to have two shapes. One shape being in this way, and another shape will be looking like that. Okay. I hope that is clear. Now, how do we find the area of this compound shape? You need to find the area of this yellow color. You need to find the area of this shape and find the area of this blue color and then if, add them, okay? But then I'm not going to divide the shape like that. I'm not going to divide the shape like that. Instead, I'm going to divide the shape horizontally. I'm going to divide the shape, but either way you divide, you divide horizontally, you divide vertically, you are going to end up getting the same area of the compound shape, okay? So I'm going to divide this shape like this, and then I'm going to have that piece, going to have this piece like that and then i'm going to have this piece bam so i'm going to have the two shapes like that okay now what i'm gonna do is to find i mean what i'm gonna do is to label them i'm going to label this shape i'm going to label this shape as a i'm going to label a yellow colored shape i'm going to label this one as a and i'm going to label that one as b okay so what I'm going to do is to find the area of this compound shape, what I'm going to do is to find the area A. So here, find area A. Now area A, I have to know the length. The length is seven and the width is two. So area A equals to length times width because that is purely a rectangle. And this will be two centimeters times seven centimeters. Okay, you may be wondering why am I starting with two and why am I ending with seven, but either way you do, you'll be getting the same answer. So length is seven centimeters, width is two centimeters. So if you do that calculation, you're gonna end up with 14 centimeters square. So this is area A, that is area A. Now, how about area B? How about area B? Area B, you need to do small calculations. Area B, which is this blue color, equals to length times weight again. But how much is the length? The length is four. Can you see that? The length is four, 
but the width is not five. The width is not five. So don't use five as your width. Now, what is your width? You need to do this five. You need to take this five minus two centimeters because over here will be three centimeters. How did I get three centimeters? Because five minus two is three. In short, when you take three plus this two is when we get total equal to five. So uh, for area B, we're gonna take length, which is four times width, which is three centimeters. Okay, and this will give you 12 centimeters square. Okay, now how do we find, how do we find the area of the compound shape? How do we find the area of the compound shape? We need to add area A plus area B. So take area A plus B. This is the area of the compound shape will be area of the compound shape will be equal to the area A plus area B. So the area of the compound shape will be equal to area A, which is this one here, 14 centimeters square, then it plus area B, which is 12 centimeters square, which is 12 centimeters square. And what do you think will be the answer? Go ahead adding this, but I guess you're gonna get 26 centimeters square. That is the area of this compound shape. Okay. So you can pause the video, start taking the calculation from here, area A, 14 centimeters square, area B, four times three, which will be 12. And then go ahead copying area of the compound shape, which will be the R, uh, the summation, the sum of these two shapes, okay? So take this time, pause this video, and then you are good to go, okay? So you can make corrections according. Otherwise, let me proceed, right? Good. So I, I think now we'll be heading to perimeter of the compound shape, right? So let me delete everything. Let me delete everything. I'm looking for the perimeter of the same shape. Okay, now, do you still remember the formula for the perimeter of any shape? Perimeter of any shape is simply add all the sides, okay? So here, perimeter is add all the sides. So here you write, Perimeter is add all the sides. So here you write, perimeter of any shape is equal to add or sides. But around the shape, don't cross, don't try to cross the shape. So around the shape. What is perimeter? Add all sides around the shape. Now, which sides do you think I'm talking about? Let me try to label. Let me try to label the, the sides which I'm talking about. Add all the sides. So you have to go, maybe try to change color. Okay, so how do we find the perimeter? For the perimeter, we have to add all the sides, two centimeters plus seven centimeters, plus five centimeters, plus four centimeters, plus this one I told you is three centimeters, and then I need to calculate that part, okay? So for perimeter, we need to add all the sides. So for perimeter, we don't cut, we don't cut the shape. For perimeter, we do not cut the shape. What we do for perimeter, is simply add all the sides around the shape. Now, how do we add? Let me start choosing the starting point. Suppose I'm starting from here. So I will be adding all the sides going this way. So I have seven, I have seven, 
plus five, plus four, plus whatever is missing here, plus whatever is missing here. And then finally go to where you started, plus two, bam, that is your perimeter. So from here, from here to here is two, that is seven, this is five, this is four, okay, that is four, and then this I need to calculate, but remember what I said, from here to here is five, but from here to here is only two. That means the remaining part will be three centimeters because this three plus this two makes a total five. How about this part here? How about this part here? This part is, can you see this? All this is seven, but this part is only four. So what is seven minus four? Seven minus four is three. So this part is three centimeters, meaning three plus four equals seven. You see that? Now I can find the perimeter. So in that case, perimeter will be equal to what? So I'm gonna write here, perimeter equals to, again, let me start from here, that is seven, plus this is seven, that is five, this is four, this is three, this is three, and finally, that is two. That is your perimeter. Let me check again. Seven plus five plus four plus three plus three plus two. That is your perimeter. And then you complete by saying that this perimeter will be equal to, then you go ahead adding all these numbers. This will be 12, 16, 19, 19, 22, 24. So you'll be getting perimeter is 24 centimeters. Let me check again. This is five. Let me start from here. This is five, eight, 12, 17, 24. Bam, this is my perimeter, 24 centimeters, okay? So now I hope you can pause the video and try to do the, the calculations. Of course, you have already tried. So try to check if your answer is correct. This is all about perimeter and you are good to go. So this perimeter, add all the sides and then post this video, copy the corrections, okay? Now let me proceed, let me proceed. So I'm done with the question, area done, perimeter done, okay. Let me go to the next part. Now the next question, the next question is this question, here. okay? This question. Now before I start doing this question, there is a small correction before I start doing this question, there is small correction. Now, what is that correction? Make the following correction with this shape. Make the small correction, which I'm about to show you on this shape. The correction was putting a line here, this, put a, a small line like this, and then put a line here. Now, if I put a small line here and here, is there anyone of you who can tell me what does this small line mean? For example, you have a triangle like this, you have a triangle like this, then I put a small line there and I put a small line. There. Can you tell me the meaning of this small line? And perhaps here I write three centimeters on this side. Now, the meaning of this line is that if I put this side is three centimeters, even this side will be three centimeters. This is what it means by those lines, okay? So go ahead, making a correction that this, on this shape, there was supposed to be a small line here and another small line there. Meaning, if from here, if from here to here is three centimeters, even from here going this way is also three centimeters. This is what it means, okay? So go ahead, making that small correction. And the small correction which I'm talking about is please use a ruler Use a ruler to draw that line. Use the ruler. Let me try again. Put a small line here. Okay. And put a small line here. This line, this line, as far as geometry is concerned, it means that if this part is three centimeters, even that part, even that part will be three centimeters. Okay. That is a small correction which was supposed to be there. 
Okay. Now, now, how do we move from here? How do we move from here? So uh, let, uh, let me start with the area. Let me start with working out the area of this shape. But remember what I say? I say that for area, if you want to find the area of the compound shape, for area, you need to divide this shape. You need to divide this shape into known shapes, into known shapes, okay. Now, how do we divide this shape? I'm going to start with area. I'm going to start with area, okay? So for area, for area, of this compound shape, I need to divide this shape into, I need to divide this shape into two other small shapes. And how am I going to do it? I'm going to do it this way. Please pay attention. I'm going to do this way. For area, I need to divide this shape like this, okay? I need to divide this shape like this. And this is how it will be looking like. Can you see that? Now, in that way, I'm going to have, I'm going to have, I'm going to have two other small shapes. Can you tell me this shape? Let me try to shade them. Can you tell me the name of this shape I'm getting? Can you tell me the name of this shape? Can you quickly tell me the name? I'm getting the two shapes. One shape is yellow in color. I think you can see. Another shape will be this shape here. Now, can you tell me the name? Can you tell me the name of these two shapes I'm getting? So I'm getting the two shapes I get, okay? Can you pause the video and tell me the name of these two shapes? After dividing a shape like this, after dividing a compound shape, I'm getting two other shapes. What are they? Let me label them as A. So this is shape A and that is shape B. Now, can you tell me the name of shape A? Okay, I hope you say trapezium. Can you also tell me the name of shape B? Okay, I hope you say rectangle. All right, now let me start finding the area A. Area A is a trapezium, which says half times height times A plus B. What are these A and what are this? What are these A and B? A is this side here. A is nine, and B is this side here. But can you see that this side B, can you see that this is 12? And also this side here will also be 12. Can you see that? So if this is 12, even that will be 12, okay? So how about height? How about height? How high, how high, how high is that area A? Because it is a trapezium. So how high, can you see this? From here to here, that is four. So how high is area A? Area A is the height of four centimeters. So go ahead calculating the area A. So will be, this will be a half times height is four times A plus B, A is nine, B is 12. Can you see that? Now go ahead calculating this half times board mass, board mass, nine plus 12, that is 21. And then you can move on. Area A will be equal to by two, one, by two, this is two. So what is two times 21? Two times 21, this will be equal to 42. This will be equal to 42 centimeter square because we are talking about area we are talking about area a so area a is a trapezium which has an area of 42 centimeters square so you can pause this you can pause this video and try to copy this calculation for area a and then it scroll down like so and then you are good to go so area a is 42 centimeters square okay so that is done can we find area B? Area B, remember what you said? Area B, which is blue in color, is the rectangle length times width. What is the length? Length is 12 times 
How, how about width? Width is three. So what is 12 times three? Answer is 36 centimeter square. Okay, now how do we find the area of the compound shape? Remember this compound shape? The compound shape is the one which you can see, which has been divided into other two small shapes, which is shape A and shape B. So to find the area of that compound shape, you need to add area A and area B. So the area of the compound shape, area of a compound shape, area of the compound shape, will be equal to area A plus area B. All right. So what is the area A? Area A is 42. Add. What about area B? I mean, area B is 36. When you add those two, when you add those two areas, what do you guess? What do you guess we're going to get? Okay. So area A, area A is 42. Area B is 36. When you add the two areas, you're going to get this is 8, that is 78 centimeters square. See that? Then you're done. Okay. All right. Now, you can pause this video and try to work out the area of this compound shape. Can you see that? For the video, keep on pausing area B, area A, and then lastly, area of the compound shape. See that? Good. Now, I'm done with the area. Can I go for the perimeter? Now, for the perimeter is a different scenario. For perimeter, we need to add all the sides around the shape. Now, that is where the problem is. For perimeter, we do not divide the shape. What we do, we simply we simply uh, add all the sides around the shape. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now let me try to highlight the shape I'm talking about. Uh, let me try to highlight the shape I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the shape. For perimeter, I'm not supposed to divide. For perimeter, I have to go around the shape. I have to go around the shape in order for me to get there, bam, that is, that is the shape I'm talking about. Now for perimeter, we don't have, for perimeter, we don't have to divide the shape. For perimeter, we need, for perimeter, we need to add, we need to add all the sides around the shape, okay? We need to add all the sides around the shape. Okay. Now I hope that is clear. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead adding adding the sides around the shape. Go ahead adding the sides of this shape. Okay. But remember what we discussed. Remember what we discussed. I say there is a small correction that I made. I said go ahead putting these two small lines. And do you know what it means when I put these small lines here, this small line here, do you know what it means? You can have a shape like this. And then they say this part and this part, for example, okay? And this one, they keep some small lines like this, you see? Now, do you know what it means? It means that if here is seven centimeters, can you see here there is one small line? Even this one, this small one line, even here will be seven centimeters. Can you see that we have double lines here? Now, suppose they say this part is 10 centimeters. So go ahead writing even here, 10 centimeters. So that is a small correction I'm trying to make. And go ahead and put those small, small lines on your diagram, okay? Otherwise, let me move on. Okay, perimeter. Perimeter of this shape, perimeter of this shape, is perimeter of any shape is add all sides around the shape. Don't cross the shape. 
around the shell. Okay, now let me show you what it means. Let me choose to start from here. Let me try to start from here. So I gonna go around the shape. I gonna go around the shape until I come back to this point. I have to come back to this point, okay? So here I'm gonna take three centimeters plus this part. Can you see that? Don't take four. Four is the height. How high? How high? Okay, so don't take four. We're gonna go this way, three centimeters. But can you see a small line? So this three centimeters, so even this part will be three centimeters. So we're gonna take three centimeters, plus three centimeters, plus nine centimeters, plus 4.5 centimeters. Now, can you tell me, pause this video and tell me from here to here, how much is that? Can you pause this video and tell me from this point to this point, how much is that? I hope you can see that this point, this point is the same as this point to this point. So even here will be three centimeters. How did I know? You can see that this, by geometry, this part will be equal to that part. So that will be three centimeters. And finally, that will be 12 centimeters. Now, how do we calculate the, the perimeter? So you write here perimeter. Write the perimeter equals. I. Remember what I said? I'm starting from here. So I'm gonna take three plus again three plus again nine plus again four point five plus three and finally plus twelve. How many numbers do you have? How many numbers do we have? Okay, I have three plus three plus nine. 4.5 plus 3 plus 12. Bam. Now, I want you to go ahead using a calculator to answer this. Okay. But let me try to figure out quickly. This is 6, 6, 15, 19, 22, 22 here, 22. This will be 4. I guess this will be 34.5. Okay. But try to check. I may be I may be wrong somewhere, but this perimeter will be 34.5. But then you have to check, of course, check my answer if it is correct. I'm a human being, I can make mistakes. Okay, so just check. But the idea is check three plus three, that is six. Six plus nine, that will be 15. That will be 15, 19.5. 22.5, 22.5, I guess I'm correct there, okay? That is all about perimeter, so we are good to go. Now, how do we take notes? Pause this video, take, pause this video, and then go ahead with perimeter, take the formula, and then come here, do the calculation, and then check my answers if it is correct, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. So I'm done. Let me see if I go, I've got another question. For example, this question. No, I don't have an. Oh, here we go. We have this question. Some students say they don't see the. They cannot be able to read the. Whatever is written there, but I can be able to read here. Yeah, I can be able to read here. Yeah. Perhaps if you can't read, let me try to zoom for you. Uh, okay. Yep. Let me try to zoom for you. One minute. There are some students in the school. They say, Master, we can't read. Okay. Uh, Anyway, let me try to help them zoom that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so pause the video. Okay, pause the video. Can you see that? I'm gonna pause the video and then try to write this. If you can't see, pause the video and then copy this sentence. The diagram shows the floor plan. And then, and then uh, copy this diagram. Can you see this diagram? 
60 meter there, 5.5, not to scale, okay? Copy this diagram. And then finally, we're gonna copy these. These are a few sentences to finish, okay? Otherwise, now you can see, so go that, copy that diagram, post that, and then copy finally that, okay? Let me go back to my, let me go back to my questions here. Okay, so uh, sorry for the delay, but there are some few students who say that they can't read, the phones are very, you know, the phones are very small, so they can't read. So I hope you have got the diagram now. Let us try to read together, but me, I can read it very well. Okay, so the diagram shows the floor plan of the stage at a theater. So we have that, we have that length, 16 meters, and that one, 5.5 meter. Now the stage is made from a rectangle and a semicircle. Oh wow. The stage, they're trying to help you that if you divide this shape, if you divide this shape like so, if you divide this shape like so, okay, if you divide that shape like so, you're gonna have you're gonna have a rectangle. Can you guess where the rectangle is? So you need to divide the shape like that. So the stage is made from a rectangle. Can you guess where the rectangle is? I think you say there is your rectangle. Can you see your rectangle there? Okay, that is your rectangle. Can you see that? Good. And how about the semicircle? Can you guess where the semicircle is? Bam, I guess you say that is your semicircle. Can you see that? Fine, yeah? Okay, now, what is this? The stage is made from a rectangle and a semicircle. The rectangle is 16 meters long, 16 meters long, you can see, the rectangle is 16 meters long, and 5.5 meters long. I mean, 5.5 wide. Now, what about the total area of the stage? Give your answer correct to two significant figures. Quickly, I'm gonna help you to do this question. Uh, this is a compound shape, so uh, in order to work out the total area, you need to divide the shape like this. One part should be a rectangle, and the label that part is A, that is your rectangle, and another one should be a semicircle. Go ahead labeling the semicircle as B, okay? Now, let me start with area A. Area A. Can you tell me the name of the shape A? What is the name of shape A? Can you see the, the yellow color? The yellow color. What, what shape is the yellow color? What shape is a yellow color? I, 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 I expect that you say it is a rectangle, and I agree. But how do we find the area of a rectangle? Rectangle, its area is length times width. See that? Good. So area A, area A will be how long is the rectangle? 16 meter times how wide it is? 5.5 meter. 5.5 meter, okay? So how about if you do that calculation? 16 times 5.5, okay, 16, 5.5, you multiply the two, this is 30, care three, that is five, this is will be eight, that will be 30, and that will be eight, okay? So if you add the two, what do you have? Okay, add this, you're gonna have zero, you're gonna have eight, you're gonna have eight, so 88. We have one decimal place, so cancel that zero. So area A, so area A equals to 88, okay? You can help me do calculations, I can make some mistake there, but be careful. So 88, so 88 meter times meter, this is meter square, okay? Now that is area A. Now area A is that for, that is made for uh, the rectangle. Now, can we go for area B? Now for area B, we need to remember area B, the shape, the blue color. Can you see the blue color? That is a semicircle. So go ahead using the formula of a semicircle. Area B, so go ahead writing area B. What is the formula for the area of a semicircle? Okay, so the area of a semicircle has the formula pi r square 
divide by two. See that? Pi r square is for full circle, but this is not a full circle, it's just semicircle. But the problem is, what is the radius? What is the radius? Can you see that? Can you see that this part here, this part here from here to here, can you see this? Is 16 meter. So even here to here will be 16 meter. From here to here, 16 meter. Even here will be 16 meter. But I'm not interested with 16 meter because 16 meter is the diameter. 16 meter is the diameter. But the formula says, I need radius, radius. So if the diameter is 16, if the diameter, the diameter, if the diameter is 16, can you tell me the radius? What is the radius? Diameter is 16, what is radius? Radius is half the diameter. So what is half of 16? I guess you said eight. So the radius is eight. So for area B, because it's a semicircle, so I'm gonna write area B equals to the pi 3.14 times the radius, the radius is eight, times eight, divided by two. I remember when I was teaching um, quarter circle, I forgot to divide by four and I forgot to divide by four and the whole students except very few <laughs> were, were capable of dividing by four, okay? So what do we do? So let me try to check. Diameter is 16, radius will be eight, okay? Half of 16 is eight. So now, how do we move on from here? By two, this is one. By two, this is four. So we're gonna have 3.14 multiplied by four, multiplied by eight, okay? So help me do this. 3.14 times four times eight, what is that? You can use a calculator to save time, but I'm gonna four four. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for four times four times eight. That is thirty two. So I'm gonna take three point one four times thirty two. Because four times eight is thirty two. So I'm gonna take three point one four times thirty two. Go ahead, writing this is eight. This is two. This is six. Okay, and then do it. Do it. Do it slowly, don't make mistakes there. So we have eight, we have two, we have six. This is 12. This is 12, carry one. This is three, this is four. This is 12, three, four, that is nine, okay? Then do that, this is eight, this is four, this is 10, carry one, that is also 10, okay? So eight, four, 10, 19. How many decimal places? One, two. So one, two. The answer, you can help me check that. The answer is 100.42. I mean, the answer is 100.48. But what is that? Meter squared. Good. So now, so I already know the area A. Area A, I got it, is 88 meter square. And also I already know the area B, which is pi r squared divided by two. I think I explained to you that. So is this final answer? No, this is not final answer because the question is, the stage is made from a rectangle and a semicircle. So the question is, work out the total area of the stage and give your answer according to two significant figures. Okay, how do we find total area? How do we find total area? Is to add total area, total area will be equal to Area A plus area B. What is area A? I got 88. What is area B? I got 100.48. Now, let me try to check and see if I got it correct. So that was, yeah, that is 88. So we can check that calculation. 16, 16 times 5.5, .5, do you get 88? Yeah. Uh, okay, and then I do 3.14 times 32. Do you get that? You get that, then we're good to go. Okay, can we add this? Let us try to add this. Also help me using a calculator, but I guess this will be 188.48. 
meter square. But is this not, is this final answer? The answer is no, it's not final answer. It's not final answer. Uh, we are supposed to leave. If your answer correct to two significant figures. So the final answer should be in two significant figures. So how do we do this? You're gonna take 188.48. How many significant figures are here? There are one, two, three, four, five. They need only two to remain. So one, two, put a border, check on the right, there is eight. Add one here because you know the you know the theorem. Eight is bigger than five, so this will be nine. This will be one. What happens to eight? It becomes zero. Point. What happens to four? It becomes zero. What happens to eight? It becomes zero. Okay. So this is your first answer. What if you need to go further? You need to go further. Any zero, any zero to the right of the decimal point can be cancelled. So if you cancel that. Your answer will remain as 190 meter square. Done. Okay. All right. I hope you can now do corrections. And how do we take corrections? First, you need to divide the shape like this one being rectangle, another one being semicircle. Check these calculations. Let me try to check if I go. Uh, let me try to check the calculations. Let me use a calculator to confirm. And I guess uh, those are correct. Okay, so uh, we need to confirm that before we call it a day, especially 16.5.5, if, if we got it correct. Okay, so 16.5.5, we have 16 there times 5.5. .5. I get it correct. Boom, 88, got it correct. Another one, another one was, another one was this one here. Uh, this one, this calculation, 3.14 times 32. This calculation here, 3.14, 3.14 times eight, times eight, is equal to the answer we get the answer we get we need to divide by two boom i got it correct 100.48 i got it correct right then we're going to take this area add it to 88 boom 188.48 okay so i got everything correct so my calculations are correct but don't don't hesitate to make corrections whenever or whenever I find you find that I've made a mistake. Okay. Uh, can I say bye bye for now? Yes. This question is not is not asking for perimeter. This question is not asking for perimeter. It's just for it's just asking for the total area of the stage, which is like this. Okay. Now until next time. Uh, bye bye. Let me end here. Until next time. Bye bye. Stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'll be uploading another video for timetable, a reading timetable, so stay tuned there. Bye-bye for now. Bye.